Hello everyone. Welcome in my knitting cave. Um, thank you for you to be here because you clicked and you're watching me. Now, my name is Barbara. I live in Ireland. I'm a Polish girl who likes to knit and this podcast is about those rambling and mumbling is about. So whatever I say, don't take a word for it, especially in regards to pronunciations, names, surnames, patterns. So I try to do my best and write it down everything on the screen. So what you can do, you can go and check my show notes, which are knittingilove.com. I will put the link down below and I think, yeah, this is episode 17. <sighs> Anything else? Anything else? Have I forgot about anyone? I haven't forgot about you. What else? Yeah, if you're browsing through my website, you obviously may notice that I also own the show over there, which is kind of small, tiny, little thing. So yeah, have a look if you want to. Ooh, one thing that I found hilarious. If you're a bit of a person who doesn't want to, well, if you're a bit of a person who likes to joke a bit, if you're watching this podcast, this video on computer, there is over here a small sign like this and there you have a speed. You can speed me up and when you watch me in the speed motion, uh, 1.5, I think 1.5 is enough to have it fluent and still have a bit of fun. Well, to be honest, I do that. I watch podcasts like that, especially whoever has like an hour and 40 minutes or something that is like, I just have to, I don't have time. Because I was so busy, I presume this episode is going to be a quick one. So let's start with giveaways. And just to remind you, uh, because it was such a fun for me, um, 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 why I say um all the time? We have something like in the jar section, which basically is like a pod love. So I put people into the jar, wait, into this one, and I draw a podcaster out of the jar and give them a small gift, really small, you know, it's not like a big box and stuff. It's just my big set, um, which is two pouches and like a coaster. So yeah, for them and for their lucky viewers, so that gift can be also put into their giveaways. So just to remind you, I draw in the last podcast, Lisa Young, and just to remind her beautiful face, and I love watching her, and you should too, because she's just a sweetie and a lovey, and uh, yeah, she got, got in touch with me, and I sent, she picked colors, which are here. If you're watching Instagram, go, yeah, the thing I love. If you own an Instagram, you're probably addicted as I am. Uh, yeah, you know that. So sooner or later, she's going to add that to some giveaways. And I know she's planning to do so. Hi, Lisa. As I mentioned in the last episode, um, some people donated some prizes to this podcast. And as much as I would want to um, create a cow, which I have one, which is knit a hat cow, because I like hats well. But if you knitted a hat and you want to enter, if you knitted a hat in 2016, you can enter it into Knit a hat cow. It doesn't have to be knitted. It can be crocheted too. So remember, no chatter over there. I think I have to delete someone. Kathy. <laughs> Kathy. Kathy. I think it's a Kathy. Oh, yes, because there's no chatter. That's why I'm not replying to you. I just clicked that love thing under. Um, yeah, but um, one finished object, one post. And if it's a mini hat, let's say like four or five as a one post, that'd be enough. And then obviously if, I, if we get to 200, then I will draw a winner. And the prize is actually at the moment, a um, small set of my pouch, your choice. Anyway, go there, show notes, I'll put the link to Reverly page, check it out. And yes, you need to be a member of that group too. Now, during the, I think that's all I am. Yep. So now, during the last episode, I showed you that I received two donations, and one was from from Nest Designs, which is Petra. Hi, Petra, and she donated a lovely bag. I just I couldn't wait, like organize something, and 
send you stuff. I just want here and now and send it to you. So, where is it? So here's this one and you have a progress keeper over here. Um, but you can replace that and use the progress keeper and replace that with a pulley. I call it a pulley, I call it a pulley. And put it over here or on the zipper. I put it on the zipper so I could actually use a progress keeper. But you spoil more than that, you get a lovely card. Oh, and this bag has a um, pocket inside. You have some goodies. And you have sweets, you have a tissue cover, and you have uh, two progress keepers, two sizes, and um, two stitch markers. I know it's in the bag, but it's so nicely packed, it's so hard for me. Oh, you know what? If you were a winner, well, I haven't drawn yet. I hope you don't mind. I need to see this. Okay. So you have sweets. My chocolates are gone now. And the yellow too. Uh, oh, you have another one. You have another business card. Tissues inside. Sporty cards. Progress keepers. So I asked you what kind of projects you would want to create in this lovely bag and you responded and I've actually checked some and I put some into my, on my radar. I hope you don't mind. That's in a while. So let's do drawing and for that I have a computer over here and I will leave you for a sec to do my magic things. And we have a winner! I'm going to write it down over here. Congratulations. And I try to say that. The way I would say it is Nadalilu Bedard. So we know it's a girl because she would definitely cast on a pair of socks for her boyfriend. And I know it's a girl because we have a photo over here. So yeah, congratulations. Please get in touch with me. You can find me on Instagram as Nating I Love. You can find me on Ranrally as Nating I Love. You can find me on you. Troop here as the thing I love. Contact details about on my project page, the thing I love.com, or you can find me on Facebook. So I'm everywhere. Please get in touch with me and I'm going to send this back to you as soon as I can. Yay! So yeah, don't, if you're on Instagram, go follow me, say hello, and uh, if you start knitting something in it, please use hashtag knitting I love so everyone can see that it was sent to you and delivered. Petra, danke schön for such a brilliant donation. Now, it is episode 17 and last time I showed you that we got another donation, which is from Ireland, Balina Mayo, not Tipperary. So Emma from The Curious Needle, she sent this beauty to you. And just to let you know, um, you can find Emma on her website over here or oh, she has an Etsy shop over here just four photos that you can find in regards to this are here and she creates bags not for knitters but that they're basically cosmetics bags so if you should so this one I think it's a large option but for knitters definitely small so you can fit over here 250 gram cakes or bowls, needles and folded pattern which is perfect. It's like a stitching pattern. We have a lovely owl and inside greeny. So this bag is another giveaway. So if you're watching this episode please leave a comment down below because that way you will enter to win this lovely bag. And the question for this one will be, I will ask you at the end of this video, because I presume you will just lose it and I will just write it down the whole questions I want to ask you and please post just one comment if you want answers, all of them please do, or if you want to go and rapidly answer more, feel free to do so. I will try not to forget to um, post a thread. Thank you so much for reminding. Thank you so much, Emma, for, for giving this lovely bag to us. Now, we received some donations, but I'm going to show that in the end because I got something for myself too and I want to share with you. So if you were interested in that and you don't mind me to do that, then 
keep on watching. Right, in the jar section. Well, in the jar section, I'm sorry, I've watched just the podcasters that I have in this jar, so I don't have any new ones. Um, but that's okay, isn't it? That's okay. You can just stay here, stay here. What's on my needles? Da -da. The only thing that I have on my needles right now it's just that hat that I was knitting. I am knitting, was knitting. Hard to say. <laughs> In this bag. Hedgehog fibers yarn. Here. 2.25 millimeter needles. And I did cast it on, not that many stitches. And as fun as it is, I think I'm going to frog it. <sighs> yes. I even used the Progress Keeper from Nest Designs over here. And I will show you. I love that Daisy Stitch. If you know any Daisy Stitch patterns, let me know. Because I set my mind, I would have to have it stretched on my head all the time. And I would not enjoy that. I like very loose hands. I like an extra breathing zone for my hair and all that stuff if I can say it so I'm going to frog it and it will hurt <laughs> yes but at least I know how those two yarns kind of knits up together I don't know what I'm going to do again with it Oy. I got this yarn in March and it's May and I really want to knit something with it and somehow whatever I have I'm trying to it's just I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, hard to say, but officially I'm taking it off. Let's do it now. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do it with me. Some of you, it may hurt. But you know what? I'm going to put it straight away to the back. Anyway, it will take me a while. I'll do it later on. But yes, my decision settled. I need to do something else with this yarn. So now I have three needles, which will be 2.25, which is for socks. And I received lovely yarn. If you haven't watched the last episode, um, show you. I received this lovely yarn. So I'm thinking to cast it on. And lately, this is has been just received. It's the Patent Scroy socks from Kathy. I would say Kathy. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I have such big problems to pronounce things. So right, so I have those two, and they're kind of Yeah, I know, I know. It's kind of me, isn't it? Um, so, right. And just on that topic, um, I received two. Kathy sent me these ones, which is boy, boy. You see? No, don't listen to me. 3.25 millimeters. And they're 29 inches, which is 73.6 centimeters, which is unusual. It's not 80 centimeters. 73.6. And that's US 3. And they're beautiful green color. They're too pretty. Thank you so much. Because I thought I'm going to get like a second hand thing. You know. Not that it's just something new. No one used that before. It's sealed. Um, and they're amazing. I've never used these. And you see I have this problem. That if something is beautiful packaged. I told you before. I would just. just I know I'm afraid to open it. Um, so yeah, there is a wire and the wire is 80 centimeters and it's an interchangeable so you know I can put it in. I've never worked with such a color bamboo thing. It's so pretty that it shouldn't be used. <sighs> I'll work on it. So thank you so much and this the yarn too. So I'm thinking to cast on but that will be plain socks, I think, because it's a stripe your pattern patterned because we have some patterned yarn. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And yes, 
soon may be work in progress, although I haven't even started yet. I can tell you that I um, bought yarn from one of the podcasters, which is Sandra. Hi, Sandra, from Craftfulness. And she has a podcast and also she has an Etsy shop. She makes bags, but she, I think, mostly dyes yarn. And I know I should probably leave it in the ski skein and show it to you and then kick it. But I couldn't resist. I just basically were doing... I couldn't resist. And I got loft, which I presume it means sky. Correct me if I'm wrong. And this is 100 gram and it's 420 meters, which I had 840 meters in those two. And this one is nice blue with kind of a bit of brown. And that brown, you can't find this on this one. This is more like a darker navy. It's going into a really deep navy color over here. Almost black. Almost black, I would say. So it's a beauty. And here are her lovely tags. So now I'm going to cast it on, I'm going to cast it on um, campfire. Everyone was talking about campsite and I was even talking about campsite because I saw that on one podcaster's um, episodes and Notorious, one of the girls, they I think they've actually finished uh, that show and I was wondering should I knit it or not and I think it's for DK, uh, well, I'm going to knit campfire which is also a free pattern and I put a photo over here better than the one that I print I can kind of do my magical stuff and show you over here because it is beautiful and I think that will work together nicely and if I eventually go so for, for some trip and enjoy a bit of sun I, I, I would want to have that around my neck yes so that's that. I can't wait and to see how it knits up. I even haven't re read this pattern, so hopefully it's not for DK and stuff. <sighs> Check measurements. I do that. I do all those things. Yes. And the next thing I want to cast on is those fine and dundy socks. I haven't done that. I haven't uh, knitted. I always knit, knit from top down, so from the cap down to the toes. I want to knit from toes up, and that way I will be able to enter these socks to uh, Grocery Girls podcast, Will Cal, and uh, hi Jody, hi Tracy, yeah, so if you want to do something new that you've never done before with socks related, go and check um, Grocery Girls Cal because we all welcome there. Now, what's off my needles? Start with the mini hats because... Yay. So I hope you can see over here a jar and this jar is full and here I have some that I showed you last episode. I have overall now 42 hats and here are the ones that I knitted. And those two I got minis from Lisa. Danke schön Lisa. Lisa sends those beautiful bags over here. This one and this one. So that'll be for our next giveaway. And yeah, just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy knitting. So Lisa sent me three minis, which basically they're like five grams or four grams. And I was able to make some hats. And this is the green one that she sent it to me. I think she dyed it herself. And this is kind of the mixed one. I'll write it down below because I know she sent me three. I'll show you. In Emma's bag, uh, I keep scraps. So from Lisa, I got those three minis. And as you can see, I've still left. And I think I can knit one more or even one and a half hat with this. Here is for this one. I love these colors, that turquoise. Um, there is at least one, two, three, four, five, five shades of blue in it with mixed of like a purplish, dark purplish color. So, but it still be those tones still going into blues. So, obviously the pom-poms is just 
small little pieces I leave. So yeah, so maybe together I mix it. And then I haven't used this one yet. Yay. I think this one is the one that she knows what it is. And these two she dyed herself. And just to maybe tell you, because Lisa is organizing a 12 months dye challenge, she asked me, will I enter, but I don't dye. And I think it's a messy job to do. And I admire all dyers because, come on. Uh, so yeah, box, if you're interested, I will leave uh, information here and then show notes. Hopefully I won't forget and show notes, but at least they're here. So you can get in touch with Lisa and see how, what's that about. What she said, every month you will, you know, you dye um, a one scheme, with the colors you think about this month or that month. And uh, yeah, or it's, you can just dye 12 skeins in one go if you want to. I think I'm saying that right, right? But as I love my little photos and little things that I'm getting from you lads, so here a short clip. You're asking me what's over here? Should I tell you now? Okay, Sandra from Craftfulness, say hello to her, go check her channel. She donated, she gave us, it's hard for me to say donated, so she gave us two skis, one for me, one for you. So I posted a photo on Instagram to tease with you a little bit, uh, but now let me get it. These two little beauties and they're Pina Colada and Gravity Falls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, I reskinned them, so I know they're kind of bulky and stuff, but no worries. When I send them, I'll stretch them nicely. <sighs> but to show you colors, I think I'm going to do that again. Yay! See this? I've never knitted with anything like this. This is the cream color, and you have the orange, like my orange. Beautiful! Another one, which is I call it Gravity Gravity Falls. Interesting, interesting. It's very nice. Oh, so because I, it's so hard for me to pick. So at some stage, obviously in the next episode, next episode, I will do another giveaway and I'll ask you which one you like and then we'll have another giveaway. But this one is for the bag. So this episode is for this bag. And to tease with you a little bit, look at this. It's like it, they're meant to be, but I, no, no, no. The winner would get this, so I would suggest go on Sandra's shop, which by the 16th of May, it's under the holiday mode, and look at this together. And then, in a while, if someone wins this yarn, you need to go to Emma's shop and get this bag, because... They're meant to be together. Back what's off my needles. And I have a two shawls off my needles. The one is Aural Bundle. And I've recorded a video. I haven't edited it yet. And I'm not going to post it because it'll be too soon. But I looked horrible. Why? When I want to look nice, it will not work. My hair are just horrible. Obviously, I haven't... I didn't have a hat on, so... I blame that. I need to have more hats, basically. I need to knit some. Fast. So this is a bundle and it's beautiful. What I can tell you, I told you already, this is, this was knitted on Drops Lace Yarn, Wine and Turquoise color, and uh, on Knit Pros Interchangeable Wooden Needles, which I especially use that and I really like it. So these needles are really good because the stitch didn't slide and especially when I was using I think 100 centimeter wire which is 42 inches but in this um, project you have almost 600 stitches so I wasn't able to stretch the whole project to look it through and I had kind of gathering stitches and just sliding them to my right needle so yeah wooden needles with lace I think. And if you for the first time over here just to show you how the pattern looks like and this is the shawl. 
No worries, the video soon. That's off my needles. Another off my needles project is a homespun house pattern. Eventually, I wrote down even on the top of the pattern when did I started it. This is a paid pattern, so I can show you low. But there is a beautiful photo in front. That's Molly. And I started it on 24th of February. And we have May. I was stuck with the yarn, as you may know, and I was gifted uh, two balls of it. So, but I took the project off the needles and that Knit Pro, oh, I didn't, don't have it. It's over here. Uh, interchangeable, and that's 80 centimeters wire. But with this shawl, the max stitches that we have, I can tell you that, is 285 stitches. At the end of the day, it's just 285, not 600. And the yarn that I used, maybe first, is this one, this lovely one, mush, mustard color. I think, anyway, I say it that way. And it is Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal. It's 95% virgin uh, merino and 5% cashmere. And it's one ply. Now, it's not blocked. And the last, where is that? Last time I showed you, I had just that much. And I basically needed just this this little section and hopefully when I have it blocked I will measure and see how many grams I needed to finish this shawl. And it is amazing! Look. Perfect. Perfect. Anyway, I received a lovely bag from Nest Designs and I basically took it and put it inside here and you can see this lovely... Where is it? I lost it. A uh, progress keeper somewhere here. Yep, over here, which I got to and with a handle, which I actually put on the zipper. Right, so next stage will be blocking. I don't have wires and my blocking techniques is probably the worst ever, but the only thing I know, once I have my section F, mm, get fit and knit done, I will buy wires. That's my goal, motivation. And let's stick with that. More about that soon. But let's enjoy for a bit that I finished something. So I hope soon enough I'm going to block it and I'm going to, and it can be blocked really. I can actually stretch it a lot, but I don't have to, if you know what I mean. It's very kind of stretchy. I like it. I really do. It's perfect. In regards pattern, I have a few things that I would just let you know what I did. I did slightly different. Um, at some part, I was confused and I just went with the flow. And yeah, I haven't noticed any mistakes yet. Although the way I bind it off, I did it differently. And let's leave it till the video because just me. It's just me. I'm telling you, it's just me. Oh, I can breathe out. Anyway, okay, okay. Let's leave it. Put everything back. So I have a ball and I want to knit um, a matching, let's call it matching hat to it. We shall see how that goes. At the moment, everything back into the bag. Now, if you don't know, I watch a podcast, which is actually also over here. I'll double check, but I think, yes, I put Jenny in here. If not, sorry, I'll put you next time, but I'm just watching her nonstop. It's uh, Jenny from The Long Large Design, and she's a podcaster, knitter. I don't think she is a designer yet, but she design well, she makes bags and during her podcast, she showed this pattern or fabric, you call it, and it was just me. It just says loads about my personality. So if I had to put a place and um, pick a bag that would represent my personality, it would be this one. It looks like a mess, although you 
be see some lovely animals over here so lovely bows and stuff so yeah it's fun um, I love outdoors camping but I'd spend more time in the tent probably or on the top of the tree if I could yes it's just that reminds me our caravan this is, reminds us our roof tent so if you don't know what the roof tent is maybe I'll show you a short video over here why not? I still, I hope I have it. So yeah, this is one of the camping sites. I love camping sites. My idea is to visit all camping sites in Ireland. And um, we have a blog that's probably in the show notes you'll find it. It's it's very, you know, it's okay. Let's call it that way. I love it. Thank you so, far, so much, Jenny, for this. It's, I'll be cherish it. And Amber uh, has also a bag from Jenny. So I just... Put it up, up there, we're like along large designs buddies now. Hi Amber. Hi Jenny. Yeah, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So here I'm going to put um, socks, socks, socks. Now what else I can put into my bags? And that's what my on my radar. Radar. What's on my radar? So now, because in the last episode I asked you to comment and tell me what would you put into your lovely new bag. And I checked most of it because there are not that many of you commented. So I loved some and I'm going to show you that. This is I Rain Lost by Melanie Berg. I hope I'm saying it right. And it is pig pattern. And you could see it's seashells designs kind of bluish as i recall right obviously now you have a let's make a space lovely picture over here so you know what i'm talking about and another one is i citadel by you probably are laughing what i'm saying now. citadel by locatelli that's how i would say name i'm not sure long cardigan okay top down and you have sizes from um x x x s i think and three xl sizes over here and i'm thinking to actually cast on something i bought ages ago i bought um from aldi i think some acrylic yarn that's like 400 grams and i want to make something cozy i know sarah from um Yarn Lab Canada podcast, she uh, creates, makes, knits, crochets, blankets. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm thinking something for myself, like a blanket that I can wear. And the first thing I think is the dress. Now the third one. Now is be a free pattern. And this one is Country. Hi, Sarah. Um, Country Quilt Baby Blanket. And that's basically why I have it over here because I watched her last episode and she mentioned this one and I love it. It kind of has like a windmill um, pattern. And if I wanted a blanket, I would probably make that one. But yeah, something that you can check. Now I meant to put up over here some random facts about me because I saw Katie, hi Katie, from Inside Number 23 and um, she put a 10 random facts about her. And it's very hard for me to find 10 randoms. I think I'm so common. There's nothing unusual about me. For other people, it would be that I knit and I'm just obsessed about knitting. Obsessed? Ah, it's maybe that too much. Just, yeah. Maybe that's a harsh word, obsessed. But, uh, yeah, knitting would be one thing I would count. But I have such a lovely husband who spoils me the way that I don't have to cook. So I don't cook. Um, so when I put on weight, I blame him because he's feeding me. So he has what he wants. <laughs> I don't know. Another random fact about me is 
that I used to was a professional swimmer. I was representing country for about six years or seven years in the juniors. Um, so yeah, that's something new. What I could eat every day? I probably could eat every day a donut. I'm not a sweet tooth person, that's another thing, but donuts would be the thing. If you bring me donut and I would be on diet or something, I would just say like, ah, and don't eat it, definitely. I don't know how many I have, but hopefully that's enough. If I come up with something or you have any questions, random questions you would want to ask, please do. And we shall see how that goes. Maybe I will have a section here and there um, giving you some bits about me, which I really think that I'm not at all interesting. Right, but what I created, and now you can join me if you want, is a hashtag get fit and knit. Here it is. And what's that about? Because I purchase sock lockers, which are hanging over here with my lovely socks over there now, stripey ones. Um, and I thought that that purchase was something that I really didn't have to have, but really want to have. And at one point, you probably have something in your life that you have you boss or anything like that. So make it a little bit less, oh, what's the word? Awkward that I purchased it. I figured out I'll feel less stressed out about it if I create a um, challenge. Basically, I try to do something for 30 minutes. Walk, walk, sky, I don't know, go for exercising. I, so oh, hard to explain. I try to get fitter and just go back to shape um, and it's not I want to lose weight or to get my body skinner or like I basically want to be stronger and fitter and um, that's what I wanted to say because since winter 2014 uh, up till let's call it now-ish I haven't done anything because I couldn't I didn't want to I was very weak and down and stuff so I think now it's a kind of a good um, moment for me to maybe stand up on my feet and so this is it so yes I created Tread on Ravelry if you're on Ravelry you can join our group which is Knitting I Love and there is a Tread which is hashtag get fit and knit so quick quick thing god I got something and basically I got something, I just quickly mentioned what I've got from people and um, first person is Lisa from Germany. Hi Lisa, she, she donated a bag and gave another bag to me. But she, before she said anything, she said to go on her Instagram, check her fabrics and say what I like. And she created these two beautiful bags. And that hurts the most because I picked fabrics that I liked. So she created two bags that I like. <laughs> so yeah, they're hanging over here. I'll show you some two photos over here or maybe more photos of what she has on Instagram. You can contact her on her Instagram. So hear her name. Yeah, go free and ask her. She's such a lovely, a cutie. Uh, thank you so much. Um, and I figure out that in the next, next episode, I think that'll be the next one. Um, I will basically ask you which one you like and the other one will be for me. That way I won't have to pick it. So that'll be the tough choice for you to do. And <sighs> at least I will enjoy what I, what's left. But that'll be next, next episode. I hope you don't mind. I showed you Jenny and bag that I got, so that's done. Jenny also has a shop, Etsy shop, you can check it out over here. So if you're interested, go and check it out. And Jenny also has podcasts, so if you haven't seen her, go and do that too. Then, as I said, I purchased yarn because I was stocking Sandra's shop for ages and I was tempted to buy something, but you know, if I want to buy, I want to buy exactly at least colors that I really like and this is just perfect so I got these and Sandra was so nice that she gifted two yarns which I've showed you already Kathy I hope that I say that right she gifted me needles and a ball of yarn and this is patterns croy socks and if you're interested it's 1503 
It's 50 grams, so I'm going to use it with something extra. Thank you so much. I'm so overwhelmed with the needles that it's if something is too pretty, it's for me too hard, hard to touch it. But thank you so much. So now, questions. Well, you don't have any questions for me, but I will have questions for you. Definitely questions. So please leave one comment down below. I would love more, but unfortunately to draw something, I need just one to win this lovely bag from Emma from the Curious Needle shop. Please answer one of the following questions because this fabric looks like a stitch, stitched fabric, and I've never done stitching before. No, I'm lying. Maybe not the crisscross one, you know, that you're creating. I think I use a needle and some thread to create a flower a design on some jeans, which I wear maybe a few days and then I sold them to a friend because they were so pretty. I'm just wondering if those jeans are still up there somewhere. I, I remember that it took me ages to do that. It was from the um, ankles to the knees and they were beautiful. So, right, if you haven't done stitching before, if you have something in mind, what would that be? What would you want to be able to do? A drawing in mind. Like, I would think I would want to do some flowers, and if I had to, I would do them on some skirt. At least I could wear it and show it, kind of that way. Not that you put it on the wall, in regards like a picture frame and, no, no, I would just want to wear it. Can you do that? But please answer me what image you would want to recreate and that'd be it. Simple as that. I think that's simple. I think that's easy. So if you're interested to enter, please leave a comment down below. And if that question is hard for you, maybe leave me a question to answer for next episode. And I'm, if I feel comfortable answering, I will. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're going to come back next time. Give me a thumb up, cheer me up, and I'm sending loads of love to you. Enjoy your week and see you next time. Bye.